Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you want me to be able to afford Red Bull so I can keep making these videos, you better subscribe because most of you are not subscribed and this way I'm never getting partner. Support the union. Enjoy the video. Doctrines have always played a major part in most nations' research strategies. Which doctrine do you research, when, and for how long? No step back is changing this system, which brings with it the question, how will doctrines be unlocked now? This question and more will be answered in the upcoming video. Army, Navy, and Air XP have always been highly desired commodities within the game. Previously, they only really had three applications. Boosting research, changing templates and modules, and finally upgrading equipment. In No Step Back, more things cost Army XP and the previous costs have been adjusted. One of the main Army XP sinks prior to No Step Back used to be upgrading tanks. Specifically, in multiplayer, upgrading tanks required several hundreds of Army XP to ensure you had the best available equipment. The tank designer has lowered the overall cost for upgrading tank designs. Where previously upgrading tank armor used to cost several hundred XP, it now only costs one point per level of upgrade. Any equipment that still uses the old upgrade system, however, is now prohibitively expensive. For example, engine upgrades in a fighter plane will still cost you over 100 XP. If you want to get a fully upgraded fighter 3 for the late game, you will need to spend several hundred air XP to get the desired design. Which is a problem when you also want to unlock doctrines. Back to army XP. Even though tanks are now cheaper to design and upgrade, templates still cost 5 XP per battalion and 10 XP per support battalion on top of the cost of the new advisors and spirits. This can be a real struggle for some, especially democratic nations, to achieve. And this is also where one of the main problems comes in. The way the doctrine research system works now is that every doctrine tier costs 100 XP of the corresponding type. So army XP for land doctrine, navy XP for naval doctrine, and air XP for air doctrine. This cost can further be lowered by most, if not all nations, by picking up a theorist for any of the three branches which lowers the cost by 10%, so 10 XP. It is advised to bank army XP until one can buy a theorist for political power because there's no cooldown in unlocking any of the doctrines. Picking and choosing where to spend XP is now more important than ever. Some nations will have it easier than others. Most fascist or communist nations will see war rather early or have the option to get involved in early civil wars or wars with the AI without intervention. This gives them the option to grind XP, and thus advance through the doctrines faster. Democratic nations are, for lack of a better word, screwed. As a democracy in single or multiplayer, the likelihood of you being involved in an early war is extremely low. I will demonstrate how big the difference is between pre-No Step Back UK and post-No Step Back UK using a standard vanilla multiplayer ruleset. By using one division training and juggling my doctrine research, I am capable of reaching the 6th doctrine tier before September 39 with a reasonable amount of army XP left over. Using the new Doctrine system for No Step Back, I was not able to progress further than the third tier. As the Germans, however, you will be swimming in their experience thanks to civil wars and small conflicts, and thus you can get army XP much faster. This is also made easier because tanks are way cheaper to upgrade, and thus there is no reason for anyone to bank as much XP as they used to. It's not all bad for the Allies though, as there are some areas they do excel in. And I've got this sinking feeling that the United States is not gonna need very long to finish its naval doctrine. There is a silver lining though. The likelihood of the AI abusing this change to make your single player experience tougher is not very high. Fortunately for the player, the AI does not grind or maximize their XP usage as well as the player does, and even then, the player can rush research to have the technology to beat the AI easier. And honestly, I think this will make non-democratic runs for players even easier. But for those of you who like to LARP as democracies in single player or play vanilla multiplayer, the challenge has just become greater than it already was. I hope this video will help you in the conquest of your enemies in the new expansion, and if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. My name is Big Smokes, and as always, have a good day.